and, and you know, and thanks, man. I, I appreciate the phone call, Charles from South Carolina. And we, that's what we got to teach. We got to teach courage. Mm -hmm. It takes courage to go out and pursue your dreams. Mm -hmm. It takes courage to say, I don't want to fall in the same rut that all these other cats is doing. As we just say in the church, like the ants in the surf bottle. You'll see a gang of ants that get going in the surf and they'll drown. Mm -hmm. But ants continue to go into the surf bottle. And they reach their, their, their demise in the same fashion as the ants they saw before them. Let me tell you all something. It ain't going to work. This, that lifestyle on the streets in Richmond and Oakland, California, you think it ain't going to happen? It's going to be you? It's not going to work. Yo, got to do what I got to do. The it ain't going to work. advocate right now. Trust I got to do what I got to do, Johnny Mac. I Trust got, me. I, Johnny Mac, I got, I'm one of those boys right now that's talking to you. I got to go do what I got to do. I got to stay and survive. I got to do what I got to do in the streets. I'm then, sorry. And here's the thing. Saying, you a coward. Hey. Because, why am I a coward if I can go, out and, you're coward, go out and get mine? You're a person that probably got talent and can do your thing. You ever thought about your family? You ever thought about if, if, I, if I succeed, whatever I'm trying to do, or just get a good job, just get a good career, how proud are your family? Yeah, but when you it, was, it is a you great was thing. Struggle, you went and got yours, Johnny Max, so why I got to go a different way? You went and got yours, so why you know can't I go get got, mine? You know I went and got mine? I stopped doing the silly things and paid attention to the good things. Is it, the, yeah, the Bible you say doing it, you was doing it. The Bible man. say you know say because broad is the way and wide, many should be on there on the road to destruction. But because straight and narrow is the way, a few should be on that road. Yeah, but when you was Max and slinging doing your thing, Johnny Mac, could nobody tell you that? Why I gotta listen to you right now? Let me do me. And that's the problem. That's the problem. Our children are supposed to be smarter than us. We are not supposed to continue to make the same mistakes that this cat before you just made. I just gave you the parable about the ants in the syrup bottle. They see all the ants go in and die. They drown themselves. Why would I go into that syrup bottle? I'm not going to win. No matter who you are and what you do, how slick you may think you are, how, how pretty you may think you are, man and female, you may think you're a handsome young man, you may, she may think she's a pretty young lady, you're going to reach the same. What's crazy is it used to be abnormal. When one of your friends died, or somebody in your family died, mm -hmm. now it's, it's becoming the norm. The, uh, the normality of taking the sting out of death. We're numb to it. We're numb to it. We're used to it. Like, ah, oh, yeah. Go, so, chime in on that, Zoe. I know you can speak way better than Luke Dix. <laughs> I don't trust somebody with a Bumblebee yellow t shirt on anyway. <laughs> we got, <laughs> hey, Pop, so we got to start getting some acting lessons going on in here. Right. some bad acting. Well, let me just first. You know, send you and your family my condolences. Thank I you reached know. out to you at the Laker game. You did. As soon as I, was, I wrote a long text message, you it did. had to be like 12 texts by the time it got to you. I missed the fight and everything, but keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but you, on the way up, I'm listening to the show, man, and it takes courage. It takes courage to do what you're doing right now. I applaud you. Um, Thank you, brother. You know, I respect you. And that's why I brought my son today. Right. Because one of my mantras to him, is that um, he's not in the cast today? No, he's not in the cast today. That's my son. He, had, he broke his arm. Maybe he had broke his arm. Yeah, he did something really crazy. And yeah, <laughs> but uh, I tell him, <laughs> I tell him, I said the only currency that can never be recouped is time. Hmm. Now, every and I say every activity that you're involved in is an investment. Right. What is it paying you back? Now, if you're chasing something. You know, and it doesn't give you anything back. You've wasted your time. Something that cannot be recouped. Right. So I tell them to make the most of every moment. Right. That you're here. Be the best you can be in every moment. Right. So, you know, t to cover that, you also touched on something that was amazing. You said you knew that you were loved and that you were not alone when you got all of the responses from right. your friends. Right. A couple years ago. Uh, April 23rd, mm -hmm. 09, my mother passed. Mm -hmm. And, dude, it was the toughest situation for me ever. Right. You know? And I was still proving myself here at the Foxhole. Right. So I wasn't getting paid yet. Right. And Marcus King and Jamie King, they came to me and said, listen, uh, I came to them. I said, listen, we can't afford to uh, bury my mother. Mm. And they said, listen, man, don't, whatever you need. Right. We got you. Wow. You see, we got you. And we wouldn't have been able to bury her uh. if they didn't step through. Louis Dix was at my mother's funeral. With this shirt? It, he had on an all black. Okay. It was in the back. Yeah, that's great. But he, 
<laughs> he was some from '89. <laughs> <laughs> he was there, and I'm shedding a few tears right now. I because am too. That's why I tell the joke. So I you won't. understand? I I haven't cried since then. Right. But brother, right. We gotta be each other's keeper. Right. And 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 it's important that we use this platform. Right. To instill a new type of self-esteem in black people. Right. Because black people kill each other because we don't have self-esteem. Right. Or self-worth. Right. We don't value each other enough right. to say, you know, this is a life right. that deserves to, to live. Right. That deserves to grow right. and, and, and do flourish. and yeah. flourish. We, we, we lack self-esteem, and that's why we do heinous acts right. against each other. And, and And I came on Thursday, and Jamie King told me, you know, that Thursday when my mother passed, she said, why would you want to be here right. with Greg Shelton right. well, and do a show? I can understand she, that. She said, why don't you stay home? I said, man, I got to come right. and talk and share because it'll help me. Right. So I appreciate you, brother. I know where you are. This is what God has given you. Right. Absolutely. Christ said, let my light, so, let your light so shine, but men will see your good works and glorify the Father. What good is me to have a light if I keep it under the table, nobody can see? Absolutely. You have a, a platform where they can hear your voice. I can, I can share in your pain and in your joy. Absolutely, bro. Why would I stay at home? You know, and, and they said the same thing to me. Like, why would I stay home? Right. I got up this morning at 6.45. I took a shower. I ran. Well, I, took, I ran first. I took a shower. I was ready. By the time they called me, I was already ready. Mm -hmm. I was going to touch up my hair, but I've been a little too much. But <laughs> cause it, it, I need to be luxurious from time to time. My hair right. needs to be luxurious. Luxuri I, luxurious I, 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 or lux luxgayish? I need, to, I need to be luxurious from time <laughs> to time. Luxgayish. It's, 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 it's self-worth. I need to look good from time uh. to time. And I said, I'm going to come down. I was ready. I understand what you're going. I understand what you're saying. I was ready when I saw Lou Dix. I was happy when I saw Brandy McGee. I was happy when I saw Landon. When I saw LaMonica. When I saw everybody in this room. I, that was our interns. Did you really say you got happy when you saw LaMonica? I was happy. Oh my <laughs> God. she's attractive. She is. When I saw, I saw pumps and all. I was so. I saw. I saw. Uh, 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 chief engineer. Uh, chief engineer self proclaimed. <laughs> Self-proclaimed chief engineer. <laughs> I was happy. And then right. myself I went around to the. I, I hugged Keisha. Right. And now that's the stretch. Everybody. I you was happy Keisha. to see everybody's face. I was a little nervous to see uh, Jamie King and Marcy. Like I normally like, get emotional, but I didn't. Right. I was so. And, and let me tell y'all some Foxhole listeners. I ain't sad. These are all tears of joy. Mm. Yeah, and if, if those of you can't see, him and um, Zoe are hugging each other right now. It's They're about not to kiss. true. They're <laughs> about to kiss. It's Call really me a nice forum here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say yeah, comb my forehead? Yeah, we hugging, but you got your mouth open ready for a kid. That's the bad oh, part. Oh, nah, damn. Hey, hey, it's the Fox Soul Series 106 XM 149. We're going to take a break with my man, 10 Grand, DJ Enix. Hey, the Salvadorian doing his thing. Fox Soul. Yo, it's the Fox, I'll be back doing our thing, baby. Me ain't on. Oh, yeah. yeah. DJ Elex. <laughs> Elex, all the way from Salvador. El, El Salvador, Louis Dick. Well, he lives on Crenshaw's Sauce. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Salvador. El Salvador. 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 Yeah. Salvador. 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 Yo, we go, we go. Hilarious. We, it's time to be funny, man. We go, we gonna do a quick roll call. Everybody knows in the house who we got down there with the green eye bandit. Zoe Williams, anyway, the voice of Reese, the voice of Reese. Sneaking in on a Friday, yeah. must have slept over last night. It's terrible. Really? Sleep over hey, last night. Is that what you're doing? Is That's that, how we. No, I mean, I'm just wondering. <laughs> okay. He's sliding yeah. right in. Okay, Lewis, I'm, I'm going at you back. <laughs> He's a hardworking man. Who we got there with the prettiest girl on the radio? Oh. It's Brandy McGee. Don't let the sweet face fool you. Yeah, I guess you, you would be what, the prettiest Brandy, one are. if she's the only. Girl, yeah, that's true. It's like, you, you, you're looking. Well, I don't know. Lewis is she a has little no bit prettier than I am. <laughs> no, you're. Uh, me you're... By, he beat me by a nose. Oh, she's four, cracking four, four noses. <laughs> four she biscuit shaped. Uh, it was <laughs> joke. Yeah, ben Lyman can hide that nose right there, boy. <laughs> you better not ever get on cocaine. I tell you that right now. It's like a you can have a Peru up your nose. <laughs> It's just just you're looking great, Brandy. Thank you. You're looking very, very, I love the skirt and the, and the lack of the material that you're wearing. 
You're looking fantastic. Yeah, you dress like it's summertime. It's it, it's hot in it's LA. 88 it's degrees. 88 degrees outside. You know I gotta whip out my spring summer gear. The little time. lace back on oh, the back of the shirt. Is that looks like one of Claudia's tops. All right. yeah. <laughs> oh God! They're sharing clothes. Now. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking. That's not nice. Who we got right here? Uh, give it up for Mr. They inappropriate. Got it, they got it. They got it. They got it. Oh, uh, my name is uh, Louis Dick. Sucalata. No, five four nine. No, no. Five four nine. What's that mean? Sapphire. Sapphire. Mm, whatever. What? That's my new drink. 549? 549 Sapphire. Is that an alcoholic beverage? It's uh, something I'm making and I'm putting on the market. Really? That shit is terrible. Everybody else would be an entrepreneur. <laughs> I might as well. You could do anything in America now. You could sell anything. You could be So you learn how to bottle panther piss. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it can be coming from your uh, hands. What's up, Guy Black? Ladies and gentlemen. He used to sell hamburgers on the corner. <laughs> now he's taking his girls off the corner <laughs> to have his own hamburger stand. <laughs> First name Johnny, uh -huh. middle name motherfucker, uh -huh. last name Mac. Uh -huh. And when we see him, we call him Johnny, Johnny motherfucking Mac. Mac. And that's a great intro about this next topic, which is I had to, I had this young lady brought to my attention. I just got to speak on it. I just got to speak on it. You talk about some stupid shit. I don't even got no better words for that. Uh, yeah, this is this is, but it's funny though. It is. Give it, give it to us, Brad. Okay, well, down in Waco, Texas, David Carrets, <laughs> yes. you can get hot your down, hot, man. steaming, juicy hamburgers, French fries, tater tots at a new restaurant. You making it sound like a porn? <laughs> Fat Ho Burgers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Ho Burgers. Uh, apparently, a young lady in uh, Waco, Texas, a 23-year-old college graduate, decided to start her own business, and she opened up a burger joint called. Fat ho, and yes, we do mean fat ho in the way that you're thinking about F -A -T -H -O. right now. F A T H O. Oh, okay. Not even the E. <laughs> Johnny, what school did she graduate from? They say she's a college grad. What Negro she... State. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you hear her talk? She oh. took up illiteracy. Coon you. <laughs> Coon you. Coon you. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> the University of God, damn it! <laughs> now, 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 Brandy, as a beautiful black woman with your thighs out, they are out. And, 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 and I was talking to this young lady. She said, "You know, it's a disgrace because uh, Diane Imus got in trouble when he said nappy-headed holes. Why she ain't getting in trouble for saying fat hole burger? First of all, Diane Imus didn't get in trouble calling him nappy-headed holes. It's the fact that to me that he attacked an American institution, college no. basketball. He attacked the universities." Well, I, and, but he called. And, and he, he basically called the girls nappy head. And there's some nappy head holes on uh, Crenshaw. Nobody never would have said anything because they was playing for the University of Rutgers. Did I say it right? Yeah, yeah almost. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, don't worry about it. You know, Rutgers University. 